This is the latest nap frame. It's called Swirls. And you can't really tell the exact detailed design when it's this small, but I'm gonna um, make it bigger. And actually, I'll show you, I have a sample page. So this is a page I made using the um, template, the snap frame. So basically I resize it to be even with the outside of the page and then the inside, I just kind of move over until it's similar frame thickness around the outside. Um, you can leave the fill or you can change it to the paper at this point. So I like to usually go down to one point and format like shadow. So one point that Linda had made the first time we did these is that she makes this the first time and uh, she saves it as a template. So it's just another template you get um, or you can just remake it each time, it's up to you. All right. So, so we what, were, what were you just changing to the one point? The stroke. Oh, OK. OK, thanks. Yep. And then um, we do insert empty frame. And we're going to put photo frames in each of these openings. So right click. Uh, I'm going to do aspect ratio unlocked. And that gives me the ability to just resize. And if you want, you can drag it below your frame and then you kind of have it as a guide. And then I'm gonna do copy and paste. So control C, control V. Looks like this row is a little taller. And just drag it behind. Then you can hit control V again, the paste. And just building this using the snap frame as a guide. It doesn't have to be exact. It's the easy page, basically. And then with each of these snap frames, I try to come up with a companion frame. So over here you see a swirls companion frame on the right side. So if you didn't like the intricate detail in there, you could do that one and it'd be more trim and streamlined. Okay. I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to go to all page view. And if you want to, what you could do is you could insert a rectangle the size of the page. As a backdrop, I'm just going to take off the stroke and make it just a, you know, some kind of neutral color, drag it behind. Then that reminds you to put in some type of paper to, um, looks like it didn't quite get that all the way up to the top. 12 by 12, zero. Robin, then, couldn't you just put a background on in there instead of you could, you could but um linda one of the trainings that we went to recently uh one of the pixels was pixels the pages trainers kim menino had said she likes to put a separate piece on because let's say let me fill this with um let me find a paper that's busy Okay, so let's say you fill it with that. You like it, but it's a little much, right? Mm -hmm. So then you can go out here to the quick access toolbar and you can change the opacity and, and kind of mute it. And if you, let's say, let's do this instead. I'm gonna hide that paper, fill the background. And I'm like, oh, that's too much. 
and you go and you lessen the opacity. Oops, wrong one. It gets this checkerboard look and it's really like, is it gonna look like that? It's it, oh, it just is confusing. So I mean, it won't look like that, but it's hard to see what it will look like because it's distracting with those checkerboards. So she just said, she leaves the background blank or she may fill it with a coordinating color that'll bleed through. Okay. So, and then you can have, and I've been doing it that way ever since because I really liked that concept. Okay. I'm just gonna get it back to that point. Oops. Okay. And save. And then on my pages tab, I'm gonna go down here and insert a mirror page. It always puts that mirrored page before. So we, if you want the swirl to be on the outside, you have to slide it back. And then if we do view to page found, One second. I meant to drag this, not do that. Okay. So anyway, from there, then you can save these as templates um, or just play with them. So if you um, fill that paper or fill that rectangle in the back, and then it bleeds through, and then you can pick a different paper. There isn't a lot of choice in that kit. Really? So you have, you know, quickly comes on background fill, a topper, and then you can just fill it with five books. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go to a blank page and just show you one more thing. Let's see. We go to shapes. So another thing to think about is when you right click create this shape, but you can change the angle. So let's say we hit 90. Well, now it has a bunch of vertical photos instead of horizontal. So you can do it that way. Mm. Um, and then if we hit flip, it changes it and flips it for us right away. So just some things to, you know, options for you to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop the recording.